Heads up. Now, uh, hey Wobber Nerd Core fans, this is DJ DJ here, also known as Daily Wobo Collector. And uh, for Wobo Nerd TV, I'm going to be uh, showing you my Wobo collection I've uh, collected these past few months. Uh, it's right here behind this door. So let's have a look. And here they are. First up, but uh, first up, but uh, I want to show you uh, what I'm wearing right now, which is a Peter Webman original the Dio Tour jacket, uh, which uh, I had for my fundraiser to have Dio Tour appear in BattleBots, and uh, there's some more which I'm get, gonna get to shortly. And this cap I'm wearing right now is uh, the extra gift from Peter for my donation. So, thank you very much uh, for that. Okay, I thought I'd get to, to the clothes uh, first. So, first is the Sabretooth shirt worn by Gabriel Stroud. Hunt. Uh, with uh, Who Entered World War Wars. And this one here is from, you may recognize it from the Sixth Wars. And this black shirt here is. Uh, the, it is uh, possibly from Series 7, uh, which they uh, tried to qualify but didn't. It was actually an extra gift uh, from Gabe Stroud, uh, right, which I'll get to when I actually bought from the auction in a minute. Uh, so, a special thanks to Gabe for that. I also bought another cap, uh, which is one of the most recent uh, purchases, which is this cap here. The Make Warbolt Wars Great Again, which is made by James Davis, who we all know and love him in both Warbolt Wars and live action uh, series for Donald Thump. And they'll be competing in BattleBots 5. Uh, with Winston Churchill. Well, <laughs> he's very good with his pun names, don't he? Okay, first up, we got the smaller pieces. Yeah. The one with the gold bar is K2's spinner, the two time Bugglebots champion, and it's still got its battle scars. And uh, this is the one he used to win Series 1. Uh, he also sold. Uh, the one he used to win season two, but since I already bought it, I thought I'd give someone else a chance. Uh, and uh, and um, team, uh, now Mark Lee of uh, K2 was actually the reason why I got into BuggleBots uh, YouTube, uh, because uh, he happens to be from my hometown, which is Murder Tiville, so that was great. Uh, and the fact that he's a two-time champion is uh, what well, makes it better. The middle one here, this round one, is one of Beda's wheels that used in Season 2 of BattleBots. And you can see a bit of damage on there, whether it was from one of the kill saws or uh, in one of their battles with either Nightmare or Tombstone. And it was Gabriel Stroud who sold the wheel, who has been confirmed uh, to appear in... Uh, who has confirmed to be part of Team Hurts for Season 5 when Bida makes his return following their uh, time in China with Tanshi. So thank you, Gabe. And this is my most recent piece. Uh, and it's... And uh, this is my most recent uh, piece of the collection. And it's Drizzle's uh, Spinning Blade which he used for BuggleBots 2 you know, which I'm very proud of because uh, it has probably one of the best fights in BuggleBots history their first round fight against a Dutch entry Wan Ru and as you, can, as you can see it is signed by both Tom Brewster and Sarah Asplin uh, uh, and it has the name of that I also got something from Tom Brewster which I'll get to it shortly uh, but um, let's move it on. Moving on with the next piece. Okay, so this is the piece. 
Okay, so I bought Dieter's jacket and cap, but, I, but uh, with the fun way, sir, the other reward, sir, uh, I had was these. The, uh, a piece of Dieter's fur uh, and uh, the uh, eyes uh, and an autographed photo of Peter Wedman. Now, the jacket was actually used in Series 10, the World Series Special, and I haven't asked if... Uh, uh, to me, those eyes look a bit like the one used in either Series 5 or Extreme 1, or both. I should have asked Peter, and not sure about the fur, though. Probably, probably from one of their earlier appearances. So, Peter, if you're watching, leave a comment down below and let me know, you know where's it from. As well as be this wheel, I also got you know, a crate sign for Bida with an autograph of John Reed, the team captain of Team Hurts, which I'm very glad because I loved him in Battlebox with a Killer Hurts and Bida, and and I'm glad to have met him in and I met him in last year's. Uh, Robo Nerd, uh, along with Nick Lynch, his Robot Wars teammate with Terahertz. And uh, I got a photo with him, I had a photo of Terahertz's axe, which is good. Okay, now we're coming up to uh, what, probably one of the biggest uh, pieces of my collection, and I'm really proud with this one. And here it is Cobalt's Wedge which was used last season, no, season 4 of BattleBots and as you can see it is signed by the team David Moulds, Sam Smith and uh, Ke uh, Andrew Kentworthy, their third teammate and uh, still got still got the green paint job uh, which I'm very pleased of and uh, this, is about, this is about a mix up for losing you know, my bets with my bids I mean with a carbide, I'm still looking, but uh, I'm hoping to get a piece one day. Uh, but uh, for now, uh, uh, but Dave did uh, message me saying that he's got it up on uh, for auction, which I got and won, and I'm very pleased with that. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, and now we head over to my garage to see my last piece. Okay, we're live now in my garage, and uh, as you can see. On the top shelf behind me is uh, Monsoon's Bulkhead, uh, which was used in Season 3 in their battle against Son of Y. Archie. It was actually a spare one. And, uh, well, yeah. and the damage you see here clearly speaks for itself. <laughs> um, it is also signed by Tom of Team Monsoon. Uh, so, uh, special thanks uh, for Team Monsoon for both that and Drizzle's Blade. And now we go back inside the uh, side of my house. See you there. And this uh, concludes our tour of the uh, my World War Wars collection. Uh, so I'll just close the door so no one can get in. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my tour and enjoy the rest of the World War TV. Bye.